In this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about tons and tonnage. Maybe you've seen tons spelled that way. Maybe you've seen tons spelled this way. Maybe it's pronounced tonny in your geographical area. Maybe it's pronounced metric ton, just to distinguish from the other ton. That's exactly what I'm talking about. We have more than one tons and more than one spelling. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about this topic through the example of these two shackles. These shackles are used by cranes for lifting. On this one, its working load limit is marked in tons as in 10 tons. On this one, its working capacity is, is, is working load limit or capacity is marked in tons, eight and a half tons. That's eight just chipped. Eight and a half tons and that T is lowercase T, whereas this was uppercase T. That's exactly what's highlighting the problem with many tons. Both tons are units of measurement. This is marked with an uppercase T and it's a unit of measurement in both the US customary and as well as the imperial systems of measurements because those are different. This ton spelled this way with a lowercase t abbreviated as a unit of measurement is coming from the metric system of measurements. So I'm gonna tell you why we have these many tons and uh, and I'm also gonna tell you which one is stronger. This one is 10 tons this one is eight and a half tons, but eight and a half tons, this looks thicker, visibly thicker than the 10 ton one. So how strong are these shackles? We're gonna get started with the metric first because that's simpler. One ton equals exactly 1000 kilograms. And if I convert this one to pounds, that's gonna be 2,204.6 pounds. Okay, that's how heavy one ton is. This one is also called metric ton or tonny if you want to pronounce it that way. The, uh, out of the other one, I'm going to go with the US customary. So one ton, because this shackle was made in the US, so it is part of that system. One ton. It's also known as short ton or just or US ton or US customary ton or one short ton is exactly 2,000 pounds, not 1,000 pounds. Now that would be logical, but that's not the case here. The figure 2,000 we came up with or we, we arrived to that a ton has 20 hundred weights. CWT is 100 weight, and each 100 weight has 100 pound each, 20 times 100, 2,000 pounds, done. And if this amount, this 2,000 pounds is converted to kilograms, then this is going to be 907.18 if you like your decimals, there are, but there are more decimals here as well as there, so you can see that this one, the short ton, is about 100 kilograms less than the metric ton and the short ton is about 200 pounds less than the metric ton so they are different not by much but they are different so how strong are these uh, shackles well this one is 10 tons in the uh, US customary so I'm just gonna write it here 10 10 tons equals 10 times that amount 20 thousand pounds which is also equal to 10 times that amount is 9,071.8 kilograms so that's how strong this is the other one the eight and a half ton and it's made in a metric country in this case Canada this shackle is eight and a half tons and Eight and a half tons means I'm just gonna write the kilograms here so you can see it. That's 8,500 kilograms. 
eight and a half times a thousand. Make sense? And this amount converted to pounds will be. Uh, let me see. Just a sec. Oh, eighteen thousand seven hundred and thirty-nine pounds. So this one is weaker. 8,500 kilos versus 9,000 kilos or 18,000 pounds versus 20,000 pounds. Okay, so this one is weaker. How is this weaker when this one looks thicker? If it's made out of a thicker steel, it must be stronger than one made out of a thinner, thinner steel. Well, that has to do with the construction of the shackle. Look at this. This one has a clevis pin. This clevis pin is held in place by a cotter and this can rotate freely. So when someone lifts a load with slings on it and there is an angle here between the slings, this clevis doesn't stop the ends of the shackle from flexing and bending out. On this shackle, the pin has a threaded construction with a big round shoulder on it and when you lift a load with slings on it and there's an angle here between the slings this construction of the pin stops the ends of the shackle from bending and bowing and spreading okay and it flexing so this one is more rigid that's why it's thinner but it's got a higher uh, working load limit rating so that's that the last little bit is we're going back to these tons there is a third kind of a ton that ton I'm gonna write it here that ton is called a long ton or it's a ton from the or in the imperial system of measurements the imperial system started in 1824 with the then British uh, the uh, the British Empire the Parliament's Weight and Measure Weights and Measures Act in 1824. The long tons were in use until and legal until 1985, at which point they were uh, outlawed and made illegal. You can still find hardware that's calibrated or marked in long tons. This is calibrated in short tons. We know this because this is this has the word or letters USA on it. If you find a shackle, a hook, a chain, or any kind of rigging hardware in India, South West Asia, or Southeast Asia, wherever you are, um, on old farms that says Sheffield, England, ten tons, it's probably imperial tons. Okay? chances are that some of this hardware is still around okay so you're gonna have to watch out for what's actually printed on it if it says tons and if it's a uh, country of origin is uh, is India or England or uh, or South Africa anywhere outside the US and uh, and but previously part of the former British Empire then you be suspicious and assume that this is talking about the Imperial Long Ton. The Imperial or Long Ton has 2,240 pounds to it. Please don't be dyslexic with that figure. See where the zeros and the fours are placed differently. It's just a sheer coincidence, okay? Just a coincidence. And uh, how they arrive to this figure is that the Ton still has 20 hundredweights to it, but a hundredweight in the imperial system has 112 pounds. How they arrive to that 112 pound amount is that a hundredweight, oh, sorry, uh, yeah, a hundredweight has eight stones, and each stone has 14 pounds. So eight times four. 14 is 112 times 20 is 2240 so that's one explanation another explanation has to do with uh, displacement of ships and uh, weight of uh, seawater so 35 cubic feet 
of seawater with a density of 65 pounds to the cubic foot each. 64 times 35 is 2,240. This long ton was abandoned again in 1985 because of many reasons. Uh, there were uh, one of them is the International Yard and Pound Agreement when the pound was revised by the international community in 1959. But I don't want to go into a history lesson here. Watch out for long tons and stay safe. Okay, I know my videos are watched worldwide. That's why I put this one in there. If you are in the US and Canada, this is what's happening, okay? But if you are in Southeast Asia, wherever, elsewhere, this might be also applicable to you. So on this job site, to avoid total confusion and mayhem, the manufacturer decided, in this case, to go with just one system. Everything be one system, okay, consistently. And they got rid of, in this case, they got rid of the short tons. Everything marked in, uh, in uh, US customary measures. Uh, they got rid of and all of the blueprints everything is millimeters and everything is metric and they went with metric only So that's one way to deal with this situation That's this that's the story of many tons you stay safe out there